Hi, and welcome to today's session for the EC Council CyberQ platform, where we're going to walk you through the My First Red Challenge. My name is Wesley Alvarez. I'm the Director of Academics based here in Tampa, Florida, and I'm excited to show you the My First Red Challenge in the next few minutes, and we're going to go through the full challenge from start to finish. By the way, this challenge is free. Um, anyone can register within CyberQ, create a user account, and access this challenge. So let's get started. So first off, um, you're on the CyberQ home screen right now. You can see there's a few resources here, but what you're gonna wanna do is navigate to dashboard. So once you navigate to dashboard, you can simply just navigate to free experiences and then click on my first red flag. Um, so again, this is one of the free challenges that we've enabled uh, just to get you familiar and acquainted with the platform. Um, so there's four flags, we're gonna go through those now. The description is going to guide you through the red council and help you capture your first red flag if you are experiencing cyber queue for the first time um, but to get started just click on this play now button and what's going to happen is the play experience window is going to pop up it's going to give you some guidance on best practices and uh, making sure you get good speed etc but we'll go ahead and click play and our ctf is going to load so um, it's check, checking on the, the lab creation state now. We're in the queue um, and what we can expect to see here in, in just a minute or so is the, the actual lab to um, load. So we're going to see that progress bar there. It says five minutes here, but traditionally it's about a minute to a minute and a half um, load time. So we'll, we'll sit tight for just a moment um, and wait for that to load. And then um, what, we're, what we can expect to see once this is finishing loading is there's going to be an additional launch button just to verify um, that we launch into the cyber ctf uh, range and then finally we'll get a quick overview of the user interface and then we'll get started on the my first red flag so as you can see we're almost done here and we reiterate the scenario in the description that we saw on the previous screen and we'll go ahead and launch our ctf Okay, great. So this is the CTF um, environment within CyberQ. You can see we have time at the top. Um, on the left-hand side, these are the actual flags that we'll be inserting answers for to capture. Um, as you can see, you know some of the CyberQ competitions may vary. Some of them will have hints, others will not. Um, but just from a hint perspective, for those of you, when you use five hints, as you can see in that, um, that uh, that statement right there, using hints will reduce your score by five points for each hint used. Um, this is a practice uh, CTF, so don't worry. You know, feel free to use the hints. Um, we're not really in the the competition scoring environment just yet. This is really just to get you acquainted with the platform, so you can use these hints as throughout the um, the full CTF um, and and really work through capturing these four flags. So there are some additional resources here um, to note the virtual machines tab. We're dealing with just one uh, virtual machine um, in this in this challenge, but um, things like multiple virtual machines may vary based on the actual CTF you're in, as well as the instructions, which in this case, um, there are no instructions for this tab. And we're going to walk you through how those hints will actually be extremely helpful for you to capture these flags. Um, another thing to note is that, you know, many of our CTFs are also open book, open notes. So if you're unsure on a concept or whatnot, you can always just go ahead and, you know, research it online. Um, another resource that we have is the EC Council Essential Series courses. Those are free courses, ebook and video courses that a lot of these concepts are in already, um, such as some of the Nmap commands, et cetera, that we're going to be using today. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and, and research. Um, don't feel bad if you don't know the information up front. This is a learning experience. We want you to come out with um, something here and, and a better perspective on how to use uh, some of these Nmap commands um, that we have. So, so there's a few other things here. Focus mode, control the lead, opening the virtual machine in a new tab or pasting some of the clipboard information. You could also restart or I'm sorry, reset, start and shut down the virtual machines. Um, but for the sake of this session, we're just gonna go ahead and we'll start completing these flags. So the first one is how many TCP ports are open uh, at 10.10.1.101? So we're gonna go ahead and use Nmap. So you can see in the Kali machine, I just opened up a terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and use Nmap and uh, there's a specific Nmap scan that we're gonna use. So you can see Nmap is starting. If you did not know 
why to use that command, um, I'm going to launch some of these hints. Uh, so the first hint is try dash st. The next hint is try nmap dash st. And then the following hint, remember, we're looking at TCP ports that are open on this IP address. I'm sorry, on this virtual machine, um, we see try nmap dash st 10.10.1.101. So it gives us the command to enter, which is the command that I just entered. So now we have a result. So we can see here, scanning this information, if anything sticks out to you, we can see that not shown are 998 closed ports. So our answer is two. OK, so moving on, what port is the Apache web server running at 10.10.1.101, the same uh, virtual machine that we saw uh, earlier in question and flag one? So if you don't know, again, which Nmap scan to use here, there are some helpful hints. So the first is use a scanning tool. We know Nmap is a tool that we use to scan networks. Um, the, the second hint is use Nmap. And then the third hint is type and map and it gives you the actual command to type. So let's go ahead and do that. And map space dash capital A space dash P dash space 10.10.1.101 enter. All right, so it's just going to take um, a few minutes or so and it's going to start scanning and then um, we'll get the answer to our question as to what port the Apache web server is running on at uh, 10.10.101. And while this is finishing scanning, um, I will say there is another introductory um, CTF called My First Blue Flag. So we also encourage you to go through that one as well. It is another free challenge in CyberQ. Again, anyone can register and um, create a username within CyberQ, agree to the end user license agreement, and then go ahead and launch under the free um, challenges, launch the My First Red and the My First Blue Flag. All right, so we're just waiting for the rest of the scan to come up and I'll probably be another minute or so. So um, just another point when I had mentioned the essential series earlier, um, the essential series consists of three different courses. So network defense essentials, ethical hacking essentials and digital forensics essentials. So NDE, EHE, and DFE. Those are part of our MOOC series and the massive open online course series. Um, so the e-courseware and the videos, as I had mentioned, was free. Um, however, in the network defense and ethical hacking essentials for this, my first red flag, those could be helpful to, uh, to, to access just so you can look up different NMAP um, scans and commands and whatnot and, and what they're used for and how that's going to help you during these types of challenges. So perfect. OK, so we have our information here and um, it has a lot of data that we're going to look through here and see what does this all mean. So again, just to reiterate, flag two is what port is the Apache web server running at at 10.10.1.101. Now we're going to scan through this information here and see what this will tell us. OK, so if you've already spotted it, then great. If not, let's go ahead and highlight that port 80. And we can see level horse server at 127.0.1.1 port 80. And there's flag number two. So again, this is just to get you acquainted with the platform. We're not going to give you all the answers on today's session or all the, the methods, but um, we encourage you to kind of explore this further after watching this video. So moving on, 
to flag three, what is the server flag in the Apache HTTP headers at 10.10.1.101? So I would also encourage you to scroll through the rest of this data. You might find some helpful hints for flags three and four um, just while you're going through this at your own time. Um, I will say there are a number of different challenges that have certain uh, kind of secrets and, and puzzles and whatnot that if you're really paying attention, you might capture the flags and get the answers for the, the next sequence of, uh, to, of flags. So um, now we know, all right, server flag and the Apache HTTP headers. So again, if you're able to use your hints, it's going to tell you this is a banner grabbing task. So next is try dash dash script equals HTTP dash headers. Um, if you're still not sure what to use, now we're going to see that the proper nmap command to be used here for 10.10.1.101. So let's go ahead and enter this. Nmap space dash dash script equals HTTP dash headers space 10.10.1.101 space dash P 80. And it is helpful to click in the terminal as you're typing. Let's go through that one more time. <laughs> OK, and we can see the scan is starting. All right, now this may take again another minute or so as we're going through. Just be patient while this is happening and um, we'll we'll see the results populate in just a moment. So I hope you're enjoying the session so far. Again, we are going to have a number of other recorded sessions that will help walk you through just navigating some of the basic concepts within um, CyberQ and uh, the My First Red and the My First Blue flag. Now, as you can see here, we have some of the information. All right, so what is the server flag? Now, if you're looking through the results right here, which is from our recent scan, something might stick out to you. And there is our flag. OK, flag number three. Now we have one more flag left. What is the flag on web server at HTTP forward slash forward slash 10.10.1.101? Now, if you're not sure how to access that, there's a few different ways. We'll look at the hints in just a moment, but first let's pop open a web browser. So the hints are gonna be go to a browser, the next hint, check a website. Now keep in mind, you might already have the answer uh, or the, the way forward in the question. Hint number three is type this in the actual browser. So let's go ahead and do that. So look what happens. So now we see your first red flag. This is your first red flag capture. A flag is any question the system can ask you in order for you to answer this correct to, um, in order for you to correctly answer this question, you must do something. You should see a flag to the right of your screen. It should read, what is the flag on the web server? HTTP dot forward slash forward slash 10.10.1.101. We're seeing us on the left hand side of the screen. The CyberQ uh, user interface had an update, but we can see clearly here the flag answer is shield. Let's go ahead and type that in. And let's check it. Perfect, so we have all flags captured. That's great, you see the notification at the top right hand side. So we have finished the My First Red challenge. It took just a few minutes. Now to properly close this event, you click on the end button here. So we see total flags, correct flags, incorrect flags. Let's go ahead and finish this challenge. And then you have the option to rate this as well. We'll go ahead and cancel that. But now there's a few things that you can see here. 
um, if we look at the data for the My First Red Challenge. Now, there's um, a place that you can review that right in the dashboard at the top. This is going to say when it's played, the score percentage, uh, the scores, the number of flags, how long it took, and you can also see um, what nice um, National Initiative of Cybersecurity Education work role this is covering, which is the vulnerability assessment analyst, and the skills that we're assessing are skills used in penetration testing tools and techniques. And there's some other data that you can look up here as well as a detailed flags report that's actually gonna give you the answers to the flag. Again, this is just to get you acquainted with the actual environment for my first red flag. I, I hope that you'll go through this on your own time and I hope you enjoy um, the, the CyberQ portal. Again, Wesley Alvarez here, Director of Academics, uh, signing off from Tampa, Florida. Have a great rest of the day and thanks for tuning in.